Hey there, Fight fans, it's John Pollock here alongside Fight Network boxing analyst Corey Erdman. We're in St. Petersburg, Russia at the Sport Accord World Combat Games. We have some no-gi grappling going on in the background right now, but Saturday night it's going to be Showtime Championship Boxing, and Corey, we're going to see IBF light heavyweight champion Bernard Hopkins make a defense of that recently won championship. Yeah, and interesting that Hopkins is in a fight where he's actually heavily favored. We haven't seen that because Hopkins, of course, is 48 years old, and every time he steps in the ring, we talk about whether or not time is finally going to catch up with him, because it does with every single fighter except Bernard Hopkins apparently but he's an eight to one favorite here against Carl Murat you mentioned it's a mandatory defense not really a fight that people were clamoring for by any means but Murat uh, took a draw against Gabriel Campillo in 2011 and just kind of rode the sanctioning body train uh, until he was able to get this fight. Uh, Hopkins, uh, a decided favorite and for a very good reason. He has a lengthy resume. Carl Murat really that draw with Campillo and the victory over Campillo a couple of years ago, that's really the best thing on his resume. And a win over Gabriel Campillo, based on how Gabriel has looked recently, it just really isn't that impressive to anyone. Now Murad uh, fighting out of Germany, he's coming into this bout, uh, really talking up a big game here, saying that you know Bernard Hopkins started his career in Atlantic City, he wants to end his career in Atlantic City, and trying to drum up the hype machine here going into Saturday night's bout. Yeah, and Carl Murat was five when uh, Bernard Hopkins started his career in, in 1988 in Atlantic City. Uh, listen, the thing about Carl Murat is that he just isn't that complicated of a puzzle for Bernard Hopkins, and for the puzzle master in Hopkins, who has solved uh, some really tricky fighters even later on in his career at this chapter this stage in his career Murad is pretty easy pickings he's very straightforward he's going to come in behind a high guard and if he's not going to keep up a steady work rate then Hopkins is just going to fill those gaps the same way that he did against Tavoris Cloud and in my opinion Tavoris Cloud is a higher level version than Carl Murat and Hopkins handled him with complete ease. Murat has been very critical of Hopkins' clinch game at this point, where Hopkins comes back and says, listen, that's a masterpiece, and you're not sophisticated enough to appreciate that. Yeah, and Murat likes to work on the inside, but I don't think that Hopkins is going to allow it. I think that Murat's best chance is to get there, but you have to work when you get there. And Hopkins is so good at neutralizing guys' inside game. And uh, I just don't believe that Murat has the capability or is able to keep up a kind of work rate to, to flummox Hopkins or, you know, to, to wear him down. You know, we've seen better fighters, more athletic fighters, fresher fighters than Murat fail completely against this version of Hopkins. And I would imagine that Murat does the same thing in Brooklyn. For Bernard Hopkins now at 48 years of age, as we're getting to a close of 2013, what is the end game here? Certainly this isn't a fight that's turning Hopkins' career or the boxing world on its ear here. What is the big fight for Bernard Hopkins looking into 2014? Well, Hopkins has been a master manager of his career. And if I'm Bernard Hopkins, and, and listen, I'm just speaking on his behalf, but I would imagine that this is what he's thinking. He's 48 years old. He would love to go out on the absolute top. He seems very driven by breaking records and a, a achieving things, saying, you know, the, the oldest champion ever. And he has an opportunity to potentially go out as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. I think he's looking at Adonis Stevenson and saying, all right, this guy has only had two fights in the weight class. Maybe I can take a fight with him after Murat, win the championship, and ride off into the sunset. That is a real possibility for Hopkins. And also, if he is to face Stevenson, we already know Hopkins versus a Quebec fighter, as we saw with Jean Pascal, is a real box office draw. He can make a lot of money in what could be his last fight ever, but you never know when this guy's going to retire. It's a big money, high risk, I mean, low risk, high reward situation for Bernard Hopkins at the tail end of his career. It's going to be Showtime's championship boxing coming up this Saturday night as Bernard Hopkins defends the IBF light heavyweight title against Carl Murat. Also on the card, Peter Quillen defending his WBO middleweight title, and you'll see undefeated heavyweight Deontay Wilder in action. On behalf of Corey Erdman, I'm John Pollock from St. Petersburg, Russia at the Sport Accord World Combat Games.